Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk about a new promo image for Fear the Walking Dead 4B. That's the second half of Season 4, and it says down here it returns August 12th. Now, this is a little more fun, I would say, than what we're used to, just because of the storm, zombies inside the storm. It kind of looks like a mix between a hurricane and a tornado. Uh, the This right here looks like the eye of a hurricane, you know what I mean? But I do believe we are getting, uh, actually, you know what? I don't even know if we're getting a hurricane-type storm or there's a tornado. I forget now, but it doesn't matter. There's a storm coming, we saw from the previews, and they went with a fun stylized poster coming up. It is interesting that Morgan's taken up most of the real estate on the poster, so it seems like they're banking heavy on a original The Walking Dead show character. <laughs> I screwed that up, huh? You guys know what I mean. Uh, Morgan from the original show coming over. Now that Madison's gone, dead, gone, off the friggin' promo image altogether. It does look a little odd. I'll be I'll be straight up with you. But uh, an original Walking Dead character with most of the real estate, that, that is interesting. I'll be honest. I would have thought they would prop up Alicia. She's got a big fan base from the 100. She's young, younger. She's going to get that uh, young crowd, possibly, maybe pulling over some fans from the 100, I don't know, I thought she would take it, and then uh, Morgan would be like that, uh, you know, that solid foundation character, you know what I mean, but doesn't matter, Lucy here looking badass, same thing for uh, Strand, got Morgan, Alicia with her signature weapon, we got a zombie with a street sign ripping through its guts, Al here, John Dory looking badass with his revolvers, some walkers, uh, the girl with seven names, that's her, her new name, <laughs> the girl with seven names, I like that, and actually, uh, we got walkers here and then this new type of zombie destroying plow vehicle it's a walker plow vehicle i don't know but that looks pretty badass uh we have a, a tidbit of information here i want to go to this website and this one statement in particular i believe this comes from kim dickens it says uh, dickens confirmed the remainder of season four will be moving on without madison so for those in any denial or thinking this is a game, I know we're still getting a lot of comments saying, I didn't see a body. In my opinion, she's not dead. Uh, I do not believe they're pulling our leg. I don't think this is a dumpster case. I think this is officially confirmed. They just made her death uh, respectful instead of actually showing it. I do think that's wrong because, again, we get a lot of fans going. If there's no body, it's not a real death. Anyhow, they did confirm it multiple times, and she, the actress, is saying right here, there will be no Madison. Uh, there will be, wait, oh, also, also, there, they will be moving on without Madison, who will not be appearing via jumps back in time. So, in the first half of this season, the, the showrunners did say, we will continue this type of storytelling, which now I find odd. Uh, because here they're saying we're done with all that. It continues, the official Walking Dead Twitter account further confirmed the latter half of this season will do away with flipping between before and now timelines. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thrilled about that. And again, keep in mind, they kind of misled us in a previous interview and they said they will continue with this flow. I did a video on that interview. And it led me to believe we will be getting more of Nick, or at least a little bit of Nick, a little bit of Madison, some flashbacks. And I remember even saying, if it's the if we already see the downfall, we already covered the backstory. What in the hell more is there to flash back to? Now keep in mind, we were not making the video saying, "Oh yes, let's keep it going." We were like, "Wait a minute, what more could they show us through flashback? This doesn't make any sense." So now they are confirming it. They misled us before probably because they just didn't want us to figure out um, Madison was going to die. And I feel like that has nothing to do with whether Madison dies because we knew they were wrapping up the stadium. That's all that matters, the stadium. But it doesn't really matter. They misled us without it being negative. They didn't They didn't want to spoil it for us. So if you are thrilled about it, they are taking out the uh, the the before and now timeline, the jumping around with time. So it says, with Alicia Strand and Lucy having won their revenge on the vultures, the rest of the season will see the crew continuing on and attempting to find hope. 
It isn't until the midseason finale where they start to rediscover how far they've strayed from what Madison wanted from them and why she made that sacrifice. It's about them rediscovering that hope and to carry it forward in a world that finds a lot of ways to test people who are hopeful and optimistic, co-showrunner Ian Goldberg told The Hollywood Reporter. For them, it's about taking this incredible legacy that Madison left behind. Hope as a theme is something that's very much going to be a part of the DNA of this show moving forward. So, hope as a theme is something that's very much going to be a part of the DNA of this show moving forward. It says, their journey going forward will be will be about how to reconcile all the dark things they did with the legacy Madison wanted them to carry forward, added co-showrunner Andrew. It's not just those three characters whose Madison's death will impact. We will really see it ripple through all the characters on the show. We can confirm that the mid-season finale was the conclusion of Madison's story, ruling out future appearances. Uh, But we can also say her sacrifice and what she stood for and believed in will continue to live on in the people who survived her. It will affect them in profound ways going forward. We'll continue to see her legacy live on. So there it is. Hope as the main theme moving forward. So uh, that is pretty interesting. I mean, what more can you do there? There's no one to seek revenge from. Uh, If you're, um, I don't know, killing the kid and moving forward, I'm kind of curious because I'll be honest with you. This has me a little tripped up because I do feel like it is kind of an incomplete story. Uh, That little girl shot and killed Nick. Now, yeah, she's, uh, sure, she's a little kid, but I feel like there's no real conclusion there. Now, we may get, a conclusion we most likely will we m- might get that wrapped up similar to carol and tyrese's story remember carol killed karen and david because of the sickness and she ended up breaking down because of the lizzie thing and told uh tyrese and basically said the ball's in your court do what you want to do you could be the, the judge jury and executioner and he gave her a pass and then showed her some forgiveness will we see that Most likely, if hope is the theme moving forward and it's going to be like what the DNA of the show, most likely we're going to see some type of forgiveness. So I'm curious about the fans, the fans out there. Where does your forgiveness lie? How do you guys feel about straight up forgiving this character and giving her a pass, a complete pass, knowing that she is the one that killed Nick? All right, put your thoughts and opinions about that down in the comment box. What do you think about this poster? I think this is fun, refreshing, and I love the atmosphere. I'm excited for this, definitely. And I know a lot of people were bummed out by the uh, the jumping around the timelines. I really wasn't that bummed out. I, I liked some of it. Uh, some of it was convoluted. Some of it was just full of itself. And like I said, the problem lies with the Al character. Not the character herself, but uh, using her so much as a tool it, it did get really weak in some moments, especially towards the end. Remember what I talked about where they were given their, you know, their voiceover narration and then uh, Madison died. There was some of that just did not work. Just show what happened, have them talk. It got a little silly, but uh, that's gone. So now we have a complete story, not a complete story, but a, a story that's completely in present time on Fear the Walking Dead, where we're not bouncing around, wondering what's going on with all these questions about who's alive and what happened and yada, yada, yada. That's done and over with. I'm excited about that. Are you excited about that? What do you think about the trailer, the teaser, and this new image for the second half? And don't forget, August 12th, it says down there, 8-12. And then come back here every single Sunday. We're going to discuss each and every episode right after we watch it at 10.30 live right here at Make a Path Presents. Put your thoughts, theories, opinions, predictions down in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.